It's a passion because it includes so many things. Architecture represents the cultural climate we live in or reflects that. Women didn't enter architecture in significant numbers until maybe 20, 25 years ago. How it shaped the lives of people really inspired me to pursue that path. It's only now that we're beginning to see women reach the peak of their careers and become known. Women's practices are actually changing the look of architecture. People are interested in what's new, and that's what's new. Plenty of my friends think that I work too much or that I work very hard. I'm not married, I don't have children, I don't have pets, and I don't have plants. The upside is that I don't have to take care of any of them. The downside is that they're not in my life. I had my children Thursday and Friday and I was back Monday and Tuesday. Architecture very much is a man's game. So in Canada, like the US, only about 13% of the profession are women. Women's power is different than men's power, and I think we are really at the advent of seeing the strength in the gender. I think what's interesting about Marianne is that transformative act, retrofitting existing fabric and how to make new buildings, new spaces safe. You know, I'm fairly single-minded. I don't know that I could do a lot of other things at the same time. In fact, I look at those other women and think, how on earth do they do it? It's very difficult to make architecture. There are so many forces operating against it. The, the very things that make it so fascinating, the fact that it's a challenge that has to respond to economic reality, political reality, functional reality, and structural reality let alone before you even get to aesthetics. Marianne is very aware of community and neighborhood and the, the people factor. A local architect is, you know, has to stay after the building is built, and so you have to make sure that the building entirely works for the population, that it works from the inside out and from the outside in, and that people love it and that you're there to make any adjustments that need to be made. And making sure that those spaces that we create today are really about the future and not, and not about a way of living that actually it hasn't worked very well for us as far as energy, climate, spending. I think there, there is a way to be extremely pragmatic, but at the same time very creative. Architecture is a, is a creative field, uh, and to do with that comes with thinking differently. There's no point in me trying to be like a whole kind of room full of men that I usually go to a meeting to. My strength is actually my difference. <laughs> if you are, if you do it with joy, the architecture could be joyful. I believe, strongly believe in, I believe in that. You are trapped in the world of architecture. Everything of your life is centered on that. I do believe that architecture is the mother of all arts. So there it is. Take that. <laughs>